Leo, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for May 17th through the 23rd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Leo. What's going on? The overall energy for the reading, the Hierophant. Interesting. Uh, this could be, um, simply put, it could be a marriage or a long-term commitment. Um, it could be a spiritual teaching kind of thing that you're going through. We'll see. We'll see what that is. Um, in the recent past, you get the King of Swords, the Sun, the Seven of Swords. Now that's you right there in the middle with the Sun. That's your energy. Definitely a lot of determination, a lot of knowledge in terms of um, taking a decision about possibly leaving something behind. Now, again, the courage is there, the determination is there, the knowing is there. I don't know if the actual walking away is fully there. I see it. But I kind of see one foot back in that direction of still there. Um, we'll see. In the current situation, you get the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. All right. I feel like this is the energy that surrounds you. Basically, you're in this place of self-nurture and it's starting to possibly reflect outside of yourself where your friends, your family, your significant other, whoever, somebody, you're surrounded by balance, basically, and love. And um, this is a good energy that you're standing in by the looks of it. In the immediate future, you get the Magician, the Star, the Seven of Pentacles. You're trying to manifest something and I feel like it's working out. Whatever it is that you're manifesting, you may start to see results of that. You may start seeing things at least heading in that direction. Uh, things working out in such a way that they lead you straight to your manifestation here. It's something that you really, really want. Now, I don't know what it is, but it's showing up here as um, your desire, basically. Um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Hierophant. Uh, the sun again, the empress, the page of cups. You're standing in your power big time. There's a lot of, again, spiritual knowledge. You could actually be out there um, spreading that in the world. There's definitely a sense of openness on your side. Um, there's self-empowerment like no tomorrow, you know, and you're coming from a place. But I see this, the page of cups, I kind of see this as love coming your way basically i don't know if it's from one person in particular i feel like it's what you give out you receive you know and it comes in the form of love um let's see what happened there in the past let me see that king of swords in the recent past <clears throat> Eight of Swords, Five of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Interesting what this King of Swords is showing. It's hiding. Um, the King of Swords is usually... They don't have those energies attached to them, which is very interesting that they showed up. Uh, you could be sh showing... Well, could have shown a very determined, confident kind of energy of I know what I'm doing. And yeah, you could have told yourself that. Behind that, I see a lot of confusion, a lot of still dealing with things from the past, still being up in your head about things, still confused as hell about which direction to take, um, a lot of indecision. Quite the opposite of the King of Swords. 
uh, that could be you, that could be somebody tied up to you. It doesn't have to be you. Uh, this person shows up as, you know, that confident front and then behind that, whew, quite the opposite. Let me see the sun. It could be somebody you were dealing with here and you could be showing up as the sun here. But let's see. The star, the three of swords, the fool. Something that you really, really wished for. I feel like it was coming true. Man, it, it almost feels like it's coming in with a realization of, I know it's gonna suck, I know it may hurt me, but I don't give a damn. You know, that's a Leo kind of energy for sure. Of, yeah, even if it breaks me, I'm going in, you know? I'm not wasting my time here. But again, with the knowledge that yes, it has the potential to hurt you. Um, let's see the Seven of Swords in the recent past. Queen of Swords, King of Cups, Seven of Swords again. King of Swords is there, Queen of Swords is here. Very interesting. There's definitely somebody else showing up here besides you. And man, there was love here, uh, but it appears that even though there was love, somebody left and they took a very logical decision. They decided about their feelings with their head, basically. Um, and I don't know if that was you, them, the both of you. There's, there's a rational decision and a very clear cut kind of, no, it needs to be this way. But you have love. Doesn't matter. It needs to be this way. Okay. I mean, whenever I see that, I know for us Leos, it's like, what? I mean, that kind of concept is, what'd you say? Doesn't make sense. Um, but I know a lot of people are in that place of too logical about things and doesn't matter. The love aspect, apparently, you know, um, at least in the moment. Um, this person was coming from a very rational place. Let's do the Six of Pentacles, but there's no, the Seven of Swords is still not coming in as definitely out of the situation. So whoever left here, yes, they left physically, they still had that one foot in. At least energetically, they still remained attached. Let's do the Six of Pentacles. In the current situation, Eight of Cups, Three of Cups, Six of Swords. Wow. Somebody's bringing in this energy of bringing something back to life. There's definitely the Six of Pentacles at stake that wants to exist. Um, it could be that somebody is bringing in this energy but doesn't want it exactly like it was. Maybe they want it in a different kind of way, a more yeah, let's keep in touch, kind of way, you know? There's a sense of them, uh, or you, whoever's bringing this energy to the table. There's almost like a need to have the other person in their life, but not necessarily love, if that makes any sense. Let's do the Queen of Pentacles. The Death card, the Five of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, Leo, somebody is fading away from you slowly but surely in terms of how you feel about this whole situation. I feel like you don't trust this person. Uh, whoever they are, for you, it's kind of done in terms of there's lack of trust. If you can't have that, nope, not gonna happen. For you, it's, it's coming in as a closed case, you know? Let's do the Knight of Cups. The Hermit, the Six of Wands, the Knight of Cups. There's a very open, very beautiful energy here. 
um, that somebody's dealing with and very healing, not only for themselves, but for everyone around them. I feel like you're sitting in this, you're, you're kind of soaking in this energy here. Um, this person, somebody may be trying to come in, um, they're bringing a different energy to the table, but still kind of somehow wanting to connect maybe, but there's no trust. It's like when you look in that direction, the door is closed, you know? Let's do the magician. In the immediate future. Page of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Judgment card. I don't know what the hell you're manifesting here, but it's pretty powerful. Um, it's something that you may just start to learn about, to... Uh, something's in the making here for you. And I feel like, again, possibly subconsciously, you're manifesting a path here for you. Um, you're going with your intuition. It's very changing, life-changing almost. It feels like uh, very transformative for you. You're learning a lot. But it's leading you into a place where I feel like you don't even know that's the place you're going not at this time but it feels goddamn good you know the energy is very good um you're just at the beginning basically let's do the star in the immediate future nine of pentacles king of swords the emperor okay all right there's that king of swords from your past that's shown up in a very confident kind of hmm, i know what i want and underneath that it's no they don't um you're showing up as doing your thing working on yourself somewhere within you there's still a possibility of you wanting this person but not with that energy that they carried you do see the potential of this person the king of swords with the emperor you know, you do see this potential of, hmm, th they have this within them. But if they're not showing up with these energies to you, nope. Because currently they're showing up and you just don't trust them. So obviously you don't see these energies popping up to the surface, basically. Um, so until that happens, no, the door stays closed on your side. Let's do the Seven of Pentacles. There's definitely a powerful connection that you carry with this person. But again, you're somewhere here. They're somewhere here until they reach here. No. Door stays closed. For the Seven of Pentacles in the immediate future, you get the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Things are working out for you, and I feel like not only in this connection necessarily, because I kind of see this connection as taking time. If this were ever to open up in a good direction, it would take a lot of time. Meanwhile, I kind of see you working on yourself, things starting to work in a good direction for you. And you're constantly coming in in this very balanced very open energy as long as you keep in that energy you're just going to grow and grow and grow and head towards a goal that you're manifesting here which again i don't know what it is but it feels good um let's see what the universe has King of Cups, the Chariot, the Eight of Pentacles. Stay open. As long as you stay open, things will happen. And things will happen fast. You know, it feels like things, as long as you remain open, healing, giving, receiving, in that kind of energy, things will fall into place by themselves. You know, and that's when things might feel like they're starting to happen so fast that it's like, oh my God, how do I deal with this? Just stay open. That's all. Um... Definitely a sense of openness. This could also be that love is coming your way where you're not even going to see it. Yeah, this could be that as well. This would be the simple explanation of that. Um, but I see this more as you keeping yourself open to anything that comes your way because it's leading you into a good place. So 
that's what I have for you, Leo. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.